Alright, welcome back to Brain Flow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. If you've never been here before, I ask that you hit that subscribe button and then click the bell next to the subscribe button so you are updated and alerted every time a new video goes live on SoFlow TV or Brain Flow TV, rather. For those of you who don't know, I have another channel on YouTube, which is a bigger channel called SoFlow TV. You can go ahead and go subscribe to that channel as well. I'm thanking you right now in advance. Thank you. Now let's get into the story right here. So the quest for perfection, the quest for the perfect ass is what I should say has claimed another one. I don't know why women keep on doing this to themselves, but I mean, given the society in which we live, where you now have to look a certain way, big ass, well-rounded booty, perfect lips, they have surgeries that can help you to achieve whatever your version of perfection is. And in some cases, it is costing people their lives. A California woman who was hoping to save some money on cosmetic procedures died on the operating table during surgery in Mexico. Kiona Weaver, she's a 38-year-old mother of two from Long Beach, California, told her family members earlier this year that she was traveling to Florida to have some work done. This is according to the San Diego Union Tribune. Now, in reality, she actually took a trip to Tijuana, Mexico. She told her family she was going to Florida, but she was actually taking her little secret trip to Mexico to go get her body done. And a lot of women have been doing this saying they're going somewhere else and taking that trip to go get that discount body work. Y'all might want to pay attention to this, okay? She took her little trip to Tijuana, Mexico, where she underwent liposuction procedures at a place that has now been identified as Art Silhouette Aesthetic Surgeries on January 29th. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Now, by the time her family realized Weaver was not actually in Florida, she was already dead. Her cause was listed as secondary hypoxic encephalopathy, a kind of brain injury caused by oxygen deprivation. A letter was provided by her mother, Renee Weaver, and the letter showed the clinic offered a refund. They wanted to refund her $6,700 for her surgery so they didn't want to all be sued and think you're going to get millions they thought okay she lost her life let's just refund the money for the surgery she basically paid six thousand seven hundred dollars to get killed but the grieving mom still wants answers about her daughter's death she's not so much into the money she just wants some answers honestly the question has already been answered how did my daughter die she died on an operating table somewhere in Mexico at this institution trying to get the perfect body. Keanu was a very independent woman, a good, loving, smart, and very intelligent black woman is what her mom said. I'm mostly sad that this happened to my daughter because she was already so beautiful to me inside and out. She just couldn't see it. And that happens to be the problem most of the time. It doesn't matter how many times you tell these ladies nowadays that you are gorgeous, you are beautiful, you are perfect. They still look in the mirror at themselves and they still see imperfections. And given how the world has changed, because back in the day, this was something that was available to celebrities and people with a whole lot of money. So we used to look at people on TV like Joan Rivers and we'd say, oh, she is wealthy and rich so she can afford to stretch her face like a plastic bag until it's stiff. So you can't even tell if she's smiling or if she's serious, but she looks younger than her age, right? Which is the effect she was going after. Well, those procedures have gotten cheaper over the years, so cheap that almost anyone is now able to afford them. People are even taking out loans to go get their bodies done. Think about that. 
Now, Weaver's friend, who's Kanisha Davis, and another woman also underwent the similar procedures that were performed by a person who is now known as Dr. Jesus Manuel Baez Lopez. On the same exact day, he performed these surgeries on all these women. Neither of them left unharmed. Everybody is sick. Davis said that she and her pal had a bit of an extra time thanks to the pandemic. And they said, okay, everybody is on lockdown. Mexico opened up to us. So let's travel down to Mexico and get some cosmetic surgery done. Whatever happened to just girls night out? Whatever happened to girls weekend away? Now it's secret trips to get the body done. Now, after Weaver's death, Davis returned to California where she started to also bleed internally herself. She required an emergency room visit where she learned that she was hemorrhaging inside. She remains in the hospital for nearly two weeks after. If I had gone into the hospital when I did, I would have died. If I had not gone into the hospital when I did, I would have died, is what she said. Did we know we were going to take a risk going to Mexico? Yes. But did we ever at any time think that that risk would have ended in death? No. Well, she should have known better because so many women have died from this so far, right? authorities in Baja California told the newspaper that they're actually looking into Kiana's death. We're working very hard to make sure that the doctors who are practicing without the proper credentials are immediately shut down and we are investigated by the Attorney General. At Zimba Villegas, the State Director of Medical Tourism said in a statement, it is essential for the entire industry that patients feel safe and are well cared for and get the proper results that they are looking for. Now hear this. There is um, discounted body work done in places like Mexico and the Philippines and other places. They have good doctors there that actually do good work for a small fraction of the price that you would pay in the US. If you could just save enough money to get your trip together and pay for your stay, some of them, the stay is actually included in the price. This is not nothing strange. People travel all the time. They travel to get their dental work done, for instance, where dental work is way cheaper. $5,000 worth of dental work in some of these places. In the US, you'll pay $5,000. You travel to some of these places and you end up paying about $1,000 for dental work. So who doesn't want to save $4,000, especially in times like these, right? Now, here's the thing. Celebrities are the ones that actually made this the thing to be. And then, of course, mass media took it up on themselves and started mass producing asses. So pretty much every female celebrity you see nowadays has had some kind of work done to her backside, her belly, her face somewhere. Lil' Kim, uh, Iggy Azalea, Nicki Minaj, and others. Kim Kardashian probably being the most famous of them all. It's funny because when I was growing up, the females who were black females, they were made fun of because their butts were so big. They were made fun of because their lips were so thick. And now you have people actually mauling and maiming themselves to get these same lip structures and these same booties that for the longest they told these same females that they were not sexy, they did not look beautiful, they were not perfect for carrying these characteristics. Big butt did not look good in America until Kim Kardashian got her butt done. And then when these Afrocentric features started showing up on European females, that is when it began to be celebrated. Don't take my word for it. I've only lived through it, so I know exactly what I'm talking about. The moral of the story is this. If you are going to get some work done, make sure you get work done from reputable people who know exactly what they are doing. It might cost a lot. And if it costs a lot to the point where you cannot afford it, 
then that simply means you have not elevated to that tax bracket yet. You got to get your coins up or the procedure is simply not for you. At the end of the day, I guarantee you if you ask people who love you and care about you, they will tell you that you are perfect just the way you are. It is important for you to actually see yourself as perfect just the way you are because guess what? No matter what people tell you, it all comes down to what you think about yourself. May she rest in peace. I feel bad for her two kids who now have to go on, grow up without a mom because mom was trying to get her body to the level of perfection that she had in her mind, even though her own mom said she was beautiful to her inside and out, perfect and needed nothing. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next video. It's BrainFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.